lipid nanoparticle delivery of messenger RNA vaccines. What is genomic retroposition? Pause each illustration for detailed study of the illustrations and data contained in this review of the literature. Illustration mRNA for spike protein of coronavirus. mRNA is injected into muscle. The vaccine triggers production of the spike protein and antibodies specific to it. Lipids are fatty compound constituent elements of cell membranes also present in the bloodstream and throughout the body, functioning in the control of substances entering and exiting cells as well as in processes including energy movement and storage, vitamin absorption, and hormone production. A nanoparticle is a minute zero-dimensional particulate of matter from 1 to 100 nanometers in diameter. Lipid nanoparticles successfully function in vaccine mRNA transfer, being biocompatible, stable, Possessing component cation lipids, ionizable lipids, polyethylene glycols, and cholesterol, facilitating cytoplasmic mRNA delivery from the endosome into the cell cytoplasm in the process of vaccine delivery to host cells. Retroposition is a natural cellular molecular process whereby transcribed and spliced mRNAs are reverse transcribed into repetitive DNA fragments, becoming inserted into novel chromosomal positions, forming a retrogene, which is frequently non-expressed because of lacking regulatory sequencing. Such retrosequences may naturally become capable of recruiting certain regulatory sequences, acquiring a new functional genetic expression resulting in the organization of a novel functional retrogene, possibly coding for a particular effect that may even contribute to adverse human health outcomes. The notion of retroposition of vaccine mRNAs, as well as the insertional mutagenesis safety of mRNA vaccines, is currently subject to controversy, debate, as well as further scientific study. Lipid nanoparticles observed in the context of mRNA SARS-CoV-2 vaccines also possess intrinsic adjuvant activity, referred to as nanoadjuvants, enhance the corporal immune response to antigen. By functioning as adjuvants, they can encapsulate or absorb the vaccine antigen or DNA of a properly formulated vaccine, conferring increased cellular uptake, immunogenicity, and stability. Nanoparticles as vaccine carriers and adjuvants. Nanoparticles can be utilized as both immunogen carriers and vaccine adjuvants. Nanocarriers include PLGA nanoparticles, mesoporous nanoparticles, carbon nanoparticles, liposome-based nanoparticles, self-assembling protein polymer-based nanoparticles, lipid-based nanoparticles, virus-like particles, hydrogels, and polymer micelles. Both organic and inorganic nanoparticles can be used as nanoadjuvants, which include silver nanoparticles, gold nanoparticles, calcium phosphate nanoparticles, and chitosan nanoparticles. Structure of lipid nanoparticles and mRNA-based lipid nanoparticles. Uh, LNP contain an ionizable lipid, a stabilizing agent for stability, a phospholipid to stabilize the bilayer, and polyethylene glycol. The ionizable lipid allows self-assembly, increase the encapsulation of mRNA, and helps to escape from endosomes. The PEG minimizes LMP's nonspecific binding to proteins, increases circulation time in blood, and helps to avoid RES uptake. 
composition of L and P's and importance of each component. Ionizable cationic lipids stabilize nucleic acid, prevent degradation by nucleases, and endosomal escape. Neutral helper lipids enhances stability of nanoparticle, promote endosomal escape of L and P's. Cholesterol, increase particle stability, increase circulation half-life of L and P's, enhances transfection efficiency of L and P's, biocompatibility. Lipid anchored PEG constructs, increase biodistribution, improve surface properties, increase circulation lifetime. Solid lipid nanoparticles. There is only one phospholipid layer because the bulk of the interior of the particle is composed of lipophilic substance. Payloads, such as mod RNA, RNA vaccine, or others, can be embedded in the solid interior as desired. Optionally, targeting molecules such as antibodies, cell targeting peptides, and or other drug molecules can be bound to the exterior surface of the solid lipid nanoparticle. Liposomes are lipid nanoparticles which have a phospholipid bilayer as coat because the bulk of the interior of the particle is composed of aqueous substance. In various popular uses, the optional payload is, for example, DNA vaccines, gene therapy, vitamins, antibiotics, cosmetics, and many others. Liposomes are composite structures made of phospholipids and may contain small amounts of other molecules. Though liposomes can vary in size from low micrometer range to tens of micrometers, unilamator liposomes, as pictured here, are typically in the lower size range with various targeting ligands attached to their surface, allowing for their surface attachment and accumulation in pathological areas for treatment of disease. Non-replicating mRNA constructs encode the coding sequence and are flanked by 5' and 3' untranslated regions. A 5' cap structure and a 3' poly A tail. The self amplifying mRNA SAM construct encodes additional replicase components able to direct intracellular mRNA amplification. 1. NRN and SAM are formulated in this illustration in lipid nanoparticles that encapsulate the mRNA constructs to protect them from degradation, and promote cellular uptake. Two, cellular uptake of the mRNA with its delivery system typically exploits membrane-derived endocytic pathways. Three, endosomal escape allows release of the mRNA into the cytosol. Four, cytosol-located NRM constructs are immediately translated by ribosomes to produce the protein of interest which undergoes subsequent post-translational modifications. Five, SAM constructs can also be immediately translated by ribosomes to produce the replicase machinery necessary for self-amplification of the mRNA. Six, self-amplified mRNA constructs are translated by ribosomes to produce the protein of interest, which undergoes subsequent post-translational modification. Seven, the expressed proteins of interest are generated as secreted transmembrane or intracellular protein. Eight, the innate and adaptive immune responses detect the protein of interest. Adsorption of mRNA loaded in lipid nanoparticles into the host cells, which is a solution to prevent the degradation of naked mRNA and lysosomes. M RNA-loaded LMPs therefore undergo endosome escape and release mRNA for protein synthesis. Immune response by mRNA vaccines. LNPs are prepared by encapsulating mRNA, which encodes the viral protein of interest. 
Upon injection of vaccines, muscular cells take up the LMPs following the release of mRNA into the cytosol and translation of target protein with the help of host machinery. In parallel, the danger-associated signals produced by the LMPs recruit the innate immune cells, including neutrophils, monocytes, macrophages, dendritic cells, and others. The antigen-presenting cells process and present the antigen to the T cells, which further polarizes into affected T cells and helps in B cell-mediated responses. The cytotoxic T cells produced upon activation kill the infected cells and antibodies produced by B cells or plasma cells neutralize the virus. Vaccines based on mRNA containing lipid nanoparticles are a promising new platform used by two leading vaccines against COVID-19. Clinical trials and ongoing vaccinations present with varying degrees of protection levels and side effects. LMPs used in preclinical nucleoside modified mRNA vaccine studies are highly inflammatory in mice. Intradermal and intramuscular injection of these LNPs led to rapid and robust inflammatory responses characterized by massive neutrophil infiltration, activation of diverse inflammatory pathways, and production of various inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. The same dose of LNP delivered intranasally led to similar inflammatory responses in the lung and resulted in a high mortality rate with mechanism unresolved. Thus, the mRNA LMP platform's potency in supporting the induction of adaptive immune responses and the observed side effects may stem from the LMP's highly inflammatory nature. Genetic retroposition processes. A. Formation of a retrocopy. The mRNA transcribed from the gene is reverse transcribed into cDNA and subsequently inserted into the genome. B. Formation of a retroduplication variation and insertion or deletion in a retrocopy. an illustration of the mechanism of action of a messenger RNA vaccine. New presentations coming soon. Like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Thank you to current and new subscribers.